What is up guys? I am the John Gasm and I am coming on you today with another Disney conspiracy theory. We covered a couple of Disney classics last week so I figured yo let's keep this trend going but in addition to that this theory also involves my two favorite Disney cartoons of all time Hercules and Aladdin. Before we get started though, I'm going to go change my t-shirt because even though I like this shirt a lot, I feel like it's almost an obnoxious amount of Spider-Man. Alright you guys, I'm going to keep this theory short and sweet. So according to this conspiracy theory, both Aladdin and Jasmine are in the movie Hercules. And I don't mean they're in the movie the way that Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck and Goofy are in The Little Mermaid. They don't make a pretty obvious appearance like those characters do. During the memorable scene where Hercules is singing the song Go the Distance, arguably one of the best Disney songs ever made, he climbs up into a tree, looks at the stars, and sees a shooting star passing by. But if you look up at the star, there's something a little off about it. It's purple. Now let's switch stories over to Aladdin. When Aladdin first meets Jasmine, he takes her for a magic carpet ride and they sing another memorable Disney song, A Whole New World. During the magic carpet ride, they travel to wonders all over the world, including Greece, where Hercules takes place. They travel from the pyramids of Gaza all the way to Greece in a matter of seconds. To do this, they'd have to be traveling at pretty high speeds, high enough that anybody watching would only see a blur. According to this theory, Aladdin and Jasmine were that shooting star that Hercules saw. After all, the magic carpet was purple and the shooting star, like I said before, was also purple. Now personally, I think that's enough evidence to believe the theory if you really want to, but that's not all. The timelines between the stories match up pretty well also. There's actually an episode of the Hercules animated television show where teenage Hercules meets Aladdin and Jasmine. So that means that the stories have to take place in the same universe at least. But also because Hercules is the same age in that scene as he is when he meets Aladdin and Jasmine, I feel like it makes pretty good sense. Now if you do believe this theory, that also means you have to discredit the theory where Aladdin takes place 10,000 years into the future in a post-apocalyptic setting. And although I do love that theory, I feel like this one makes a little bit more sense. But that, you guys, is the entire theory. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'm going to ask you guys to rate, comment, and subscribe, and possibly share the video if you really enjoyed it. And per usual, the links to my social media accounts are all in the description down below. If you feel like being a super fan, giving those a like and follow, I'm not going to stop you. But you guys, whether you do all of that or none of it at all, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and stay fresh. Yo, also, this is going to be my last video in my dorm room for a couple of weeks because I'm going home for spring break, recording a surplus of videos before I come back to school so I don't have to do this inconvenient waiting for my roommate to leave the room so I can record a quick video sort of thing. So you guys aren't going to be seeing this ugly background for a little while. Hope that's okay with you. I love you all. Stay fresh.